Welcome back and in today's video, we're going to be doing something a little bit different today. Something that you've probably never seen in this way. Evil as you know it may forever be changed as we explore the origin of Lucifer, the fallen angel. The story of a heavenly being striving for the highest seat in heaven only to be cast down to the underworld is based in the motions of the planet Venus, known as the Morning Star. The story of Lucifer has many parallels in popular mythologies, but none more prevalent than the biblical accounts of the fall of Adam and Eve, echoed from the book of Isaiah. But to understand the origin of sin itself, we must start at the beginning. The name Lucifer is translated from the Hebrew word Hillel, which means brightness, shining one, bright star, or morning star. Lucifer is also another name for Satan. Lucifer was created by God in the first week of creation along with the other angels to be a leader and a musician. Some believe Lucifer led a heavenly choir of angels. Unlike the other angels, Lucifer was made perfect in every way. The most beautiful of God's creations and some would say the closest thing to God himself. He was created in Eden. You were in Eden, the garden of God. Every kind of precious stone covered you. Carnelian, topaz, and diamond. Beryl, onyx, and jasper, lapis lazuli, turquoise, and emerald. Your mountings and settings were crafted in gold. They were prepared on the day that you were created. You were an anointed guardian cherub, for I had appointed you. You were on the holy mountain of God. You walked among the fiery stones. Some believe that Lucifer was originally sent to earth to be a protector for the Garden of Eden, to minister to Adam and Eve and to serve them. He was there on a divine mission, still in his perfect state, and it was in the garden that his transgressions against God were conceived and carried out. But why? Thou was perfect in thy ways, from the day thou was created, till iniquity was found in thee. Inequity could have been started from the beginning of creation with Lucifer, since he was highly intelligent and naturally questioned all things. This is verified when God says that he knew that Lucifer would betray him before he ever created him. More on this later. Lucifer just appeared from nothing, and the first thing he saw was God, and the only thing he had to go on was God's word. He would have to have faith that what God told him was the truth. But then God did something that Lucifer could not accept. Lucifer watched as God did something for men that he had never done with any other of his creation. That being, when God created man, not only was he made in the very image of God, but he was given unconditional authority over earth. Then God said, let us make men in our image, according to our likeness. Let them have dominion over the fish of the sea, over the birds of the air, and over the cattle, over all the earth, and over every creeping thing that creeps on earth. This angered Lucifer because angels were created beings that continuously praised, served, and communicated with God, acting as his messengers and meting out his judgments. They are of an entirely different order than human beings and do not possess physical bodies. Rather, they are purely spiritual beings who reside within God in heaven. Lucifer was perfect and beautiful and full of wisdom, and God had given human beings something that he felt he deserved. To be honored by God and rewarded for his services, was he not deserving? And so his jealousy and pride grew, and in his outrage, the leader of the angels gathered them and spoke of what God had done. He convinced a third of all God's angels that they must confront God. Lucifer no longer wanted to serve God. He decided that he no longer wanted to do what he was created to do, but he wanted to be God himself. And so, a great war was waged in the heavens. For you have said in your heart, I will ascend into heaven. I will exalt my throne above the stars of God. I will also sit on the mount of the congregation on the farthest sides of the north. I will ascend above the heights of the clouds. I will be like the Most High. 
As said earlier in the video, God knew that Lucifer would betray him before he was created. So why did God create him? God did not create Lucifer as evil, but allowed the potential for sin. While God cannot commit sin, he doesn't take it away from those who do. When Lucifer chose to rebel, he instantly created sin in the universe. Evil is the result of the free will choice by Lucifer. This shows and demonstrates the mercy of God and plays a part in his cosmic plan, which we're going to talk more about later in the video. Even though God knew Lucifer would rebel, he did not immediately destroy Lucifer. He did not wipe his mind and reset him, but instead allowed Lucifer to act out his God-given free will, withheld his hand until the actual sin occurred. So the great dragon was cast out, the serpent of old called the devil and Satan, who deceives the whole world. He was cast to the earth and his angels were cast out with him. Contrary to popular belief, Lucifer wasn't cast into some burning prison to rule over the damned souls. He was cast into another plane of existence, our existence, and we are not shielded from his powers. His evil walks among us, and he is the ruler of our world. Now is the judgment of this world. Now the ruler of this world will be cast out, in which you once walked according to the course of this world, according to the prince of the power of the air, the spirit who now works in the sons of disobedience. God cast Lucifer, along with all the angels that sided with him, to earth, stripping them of their titles as angels to demons. And when he did this, Lucifer's name became Satan. He did this to give Lucifer time to show he was a better ruler than God. He wanted to give him the opportunity to show and demonstrate his ways were better. God could not simply destroy Lucifer and his angels because he did not want others to follow him for fear they would be destroyed. He wanted them to freely choose him. This is God's cosmic plan. Also, contrary to popular belief, Lucifer isn't a monster with red skin and a pitchfork, but instead is still beautiful in every way and retains some of his angelic powers that he used to manipulate Eve in the garden. Now it's important to note that Lucifer is in a constant state of pain and agony, forever grieving the incalculable loss of never being able to see the face of God, which is in part why he hates humanity, since they were created in God's image. Lucifer is not bound in hell, but as he roams the earth, he carries his hell with him. But don't feel bad for this creature, remember that he chose his fate, and how evil must a thing be to turn away from God himself, the essence of what is good, what is love. Our human minds cannot comprehend the darkness, the malice, and the purity of Lucifer's evil. It is unfathomable. God created Adam and Eve with his own hands like Lucifer and placed them into a beautiful garden on earth called Eden, where they could live forever and enjoy eating from every kind of tree except just one. Then the Lord God formed man from the dust of the ground and breathed the breath of life into his nostrils, and the man became a living being. And out of the ground the Lord God made every tree grow that is pleasant to the sight and good for food. The tree of life was also in the midst of the garden, and the tree of knowledge of good and evil. This was God's way of giving them the choice, the same sort of choice he gave Lucifer. By trusting God and not eating from the forbidden tree, they would forever live in paradise. Now Satan saw this as an opportunity to get back at God. He was and is still trying to follow through with his original plan to occupy the throne of God. He set out to deceive Eve by using a serpent which was one of God's wisest and most beautiful animals in creation. Now some believe the snake originally had wings and flew and was a lot more beautiful before God cursed it to crawl the earth. Satan's lies were number one, you won't die. Number two, eating the fruit will make you wise. Satan, who invented lying, mixed a little bit of truth with lies that he told Eve. Lies that include truth are the most effective deceptions, and it was true that they would know evil after sinning, and this would make them wiser. God had purposely withheld the knowledge of evil from Adam and Eve, which includes heartache, grief, suffering, pain, and death. Satan made the knowledge of evil attractive, telling lies to misrepresent God's character because he knows that people will more than likely turn away from a loving God if they misunderstand his character. Eating the forbidden fruit was a sin because it was a rejection of one of God's few requirements. It was open rebellion against God's law and his authority, similar to Lucifer, by rejecting God's command. Adam and Eve chose to follow Satan and therefore brought separation between themselves and God. 
Now Satan likely hoped that the couple would continue eating from the tree of life after their sin and thus become immortal sinners, but God removed them from the garden to prevent this. When Adam and Eve were cast out of Eden, Satan became the ruler of earth. Satan understood that if he could deceive Adam and Eve into willingly relinquishing their authority to him, that he could become the quote unquote God of our world. He could then take the authority that was given to mankind, use it to thwart the kingdom of God and receive the praise and admiration and glory that he originally wanted. Now, some believe when Lucifer first rebelled against God, God took away his angelic powers. And the only type of power he has now is when he's able to deceive people into giving him, making him absolutely dependent upon the cooperation of humans who will empower him with the authority God gave them. Now, it's important to note that Lucifer in the end is still completely subject to God's rule and must always await God's permission to act. In the ultimate act of irony, Lucifer is even subject to the Christian's human will. This means that when Lucifer was declared the quote unquote God of our world, that the truth is the devil is the chosen God of those who deny the one true God. Lucifer's exile was not a reward to form a kingdom of mankind. Revelation speaks of a day when Lucifer and his angels will ultimately be judged, defeated and tormented forever in the eternal fire. Torment in the Bible can mean only pain, but a condition of restraint or total inactivity from Hebrews 2.14 says that God will bring Lucifer to nothing. This can possibly mean that the lake of fire may not be literal torture, but oblivion. These evil creatures may simply cease to exist. Lucifer, the angel that fell from heaven, has a story that is far from over. And it's actually a story that we're a part of. In a way, we're stuck in a controversy between God and Lucifer. His continuing rebellion against God means that he remains a danger. But the eternal sovereignty of God that looms over all and soothes that this tale will have nothing but a beautiful ending for humanity. But for Lucifer, there is only darkness. The Bible actually says that the devil will choose his end of his own free will, which is basically God's cosmic plan. This may be that he decides he no longer wishes to suffer, and at this point he will come to the ultimate understanding that he was wrong. But he must choose this of his own free will. Then God will make Lucifer, his demons, and all of the humans who followed Lucifer simply cease to exist, eradicating sin from ever having existed at all. And those who followed God will have eternal life. And as interesting as this was, there's always something that's more interesting to me. That's right, you guessed it. I want to know what you think. So why don't you go ahead and leave your creative brand or interesting responses in the comment box below. Thumbs up for those likes and as always, brothers and sisters, I will see you in the next video. This video was uh, challenging and it took me uh, a long time to put together, but I know you guys have been uh, anticipating this video. If you want to see other videos like this, definitely to let me know in the comment section below. Also, don't forget to get your Rep Squad membership mug. It really supports the channel and the things that we do here on, on here. Um,